Hello, I'm David Azer, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age, your daily video news show. First, we turn to TV's annual Upfront Marketplace. Broadcast networks will start making presentations on May 12th. Each year, advertisers commit more than $9 billion to the fall primetime schedules. This year's Upfront could bring a clash of economic forces. So-called scatter TV ad time is very costly right now. This usually means marketers will put down more cash on the upfront to get good prices. But with fears of a recession looming, advertisers may be more tight-fisted than usual. Here's Ad Age TV editor Brian Steinberg. The fact that a recession is lingering, a lot of media buyers and even TV executives acknowledge that buyers are a lot more cautious. Marketers are being very careful how they spend their money, where they put it, and they want to make each dollar count. Last year's writer's strike is also having an effect on the upfront. Again, Brian Steinberg. Usually at this time, the networks have a lot of pilots available, dozens of new shows with new, peop new, new actors, new stars. And so the networks are forced to go out there showing their old programs, your 30 Rocks, your Grey's Anatomies, your ERs. What you've got this year is a bunch of guys trying to sell TV with nothing new and buzzy to talk about. Uncertainty over whether Microsoft will or will not acquire Yahoo clouds Yahoo's future. But that didn't deter Yahoo President Sue Decker from outlining its long-term vision at last week's 4A's leadership conference. Ms. Decker said that Yahoo wants to be the starting point for consumers on the Internet. Properties such as Search, Email, My Yahoo, and Yahoo News are important starting points. Yahoo also wants to eliminate friction from online ad buying and become what Ms. Decker calls a must-buy for advertisers. Finally, and most interestingly, Yahoo wants to open its platform to let developers create applications on top of it. It's a strategy that has worked for Facebook. Will it work for Yahoo too? We want to open it up to the most developers. We want to be an open site. We think the more open we are, the more relevant we'll become and more powerful that will be for marketers, for advertisers, uh, marketers, uh, agencies, publishers, users, whoever's in the ecosystems. And for our last story, Kraft Foods launches a redesign to appeal to the laziest of Americans. The company that's made a business out of making meals easy has heard from consumers that they still weren't easy enough. So this week, Kraft is unveiling more than 80 new products at the Food Marketing Institute show in Las Vegas. The products are designed to be more convenient and more portable, like the new Cool Whip in an aerosol can as opposed to a tub, and frozen microwavable bagels with cream cheese for those who are too busy to slice and spread. The launch has come as Kraft negotiates a complicated turnaround. The company is beset with an unwieldy portfolio, old but storied brands, and sky-high commodity costs. And that's it for this 3-Minute Ad Age. Thanks for being with us. I'm David Azer at Advertising Age in New York.